it is disgusting. The first thing will be cleaning, then taking it apart, sanding, varnishing, painting the top, and then upholstering and putting it all back together. So it's going to take a lot of work, but I think it will be nice. I think it has potential. The top of the table was rotten, so I bought a new one to paint and uh, change it. I'm going to change it for this one, I've already marked where I have to cut and I'm going to paint it uh, in the same colors as the upholstery. And this is how it's looking. The upholstery it had was a simple tablecloth, so it ripped when I tried to to cut it to take the pattern. But well, doesn't matter. And the, the board was so rotten that it broke, so I bought a new one to replace it. And that's the bit from the seat back. So well, that's good. And then this uh, I'm not using, I'm only keeping them to take some measurements, but I bought some new ones. So here it is, all nice and sanded. The paint I'm going to use is chalk paint, and although the wood doesn't need any treatment before applying it, I decided to do it, so I got rid of the scratches it had. And in between coats, I'm going to sand it, give it a light sand with a, a steel wool, which only will only take off all the strokes from the brush. And while the paint dries, I'm going to start with the upholstery. So the plan is to cut stripes and make a sort of patchwork pattern. And I'm going to mix dark colors with light ones so it doesn't look too harsh. Now I'm going to cut so I get more of a fabric.
now that I have all my patchwork ready, I have to make it into a whole piece so I can then upholster the seat and the, um, the chair. So I have the back of the seat already covered, well it's not stapled in or anything, but uh, in this corner here I'm going to sew this bit and then this to make it go down this way. Let's see how that works. Corners in place. And let's sew it to the back. I have the seat and the back already in place. I'm quite happy with how it's turning out. But here I had a problem here that uh, when I tried to slip it in, uh, the same ripped. So I bought um, an upholstery needle, where is it, here? Yeah. I bought an upholstery needle and I'm going to try and make an invisible stitch all the way here. Well, we always have to learn, don't we? So what I'm doing is crossing from one side, let's say these are two sides, so two roads, I'm crossing, coming down and crossing again. So when I pull the thread, it, it, the, it, it's kept inside, so you don't see it. And this is how it's turning out. So far so good, quite happy with it. The first stitches were a bit more difficult, but now it seems I'm getting a bit better at it. corner is not completely right but well it's on uh, I had ripped the fabric so I couldn't work with much but the rest looks quite neat at first I wanted to keep this in order to I don't know just clean it and reuse it but it hasn't been a success so I bought some new stuff and I'm going to just measure what I need and make a new one.
So this is the final result. I'm quite happy with it, even though I had problems with the uh, faux leather and all that. But I imagine if I did another one, it would be much better. But anyway, it's it's been quite an experience. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.